Yeah. Hello, Instagram. I'm on my Instagram now, y'all. You going out for two feeds, y'all. Uh, well, it's going yeah. down. Yeah, now nah, you got YouTube two. and Facebook. And Facebook and Instagram. Instagram and Instagram. We're going to Coruscope too, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. We're waiting on live, Facebook live, and like go ahead and do this thing so we can take off. You know, that's when the music starts, but I guess I can crank it off early. You and I will always be. I want to welcome y'all to the world's first and the world's only. Yeah, man, we have a song and we rock it because it's a hard chill rock. I got my boy Ruben in here with me, man. Ruben Rhino, man. What's up, bro? What's going on? Hey, I appreciate you for coming back to the Houston side of my heart. No, no, no. I'm going too fast, y'all. Hey, Felicia, what's going on? Stephanie Gasper, Harry Carter. You know we sponsored by Harry Carter. What's up, everybody? September, uh, July 26th and 27th. Trying to wear the child. Exotico meets Southern Soul. Yeah, Travis, what's the deal? Patrick, what's going on? Uh, we got Joy from Can't Be Stopped. That's another sponsor. Now, y'all get ready. She got the fans coming soon. Lamora, what's going on? Tamora Sanders. Tracy, what's up? Say, man, my boy Ruben in here. You about to cut up. Hey, make sure y'all be a million plus riders going down this weekend. Dallas, Texas, you know, I got a show in Dallas with uh, Cupid and Lil' Nate. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So we're going to turn up there, y'all. Cupid, y'all right keep the show. Up, bro. Yeah. Keep on Instagram, listen. Yeah. Scott Smith, September the 17th. Oh, yeah. Liz Cook, August 1st. You know, that Texas Super Ride going to be off the chain. It's, it's crazy, y'all. Y'all need to make sure y'all Harry Carter. August 1st and 3rd. Oh, so, you yeah. know, my, my, my sponsor, that's my brother, Harry Carter, right there from Three Musketeers, man. Good What's people. up, Chase? Yeah. Everybody, thanks for uh, tuning in live with us right here on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and other Instagram. We live on all this right here. Right? Uh, thanks for joining us, man. Thanks. We, uh, we uh, getting started just yet. We just greeting everybody. I got to do my shots out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's how I can do it. Uh, I got my boy in here, my Red Dog Jimmy. What's going on? Red Dog! Yeah, you know what Red Dog? Man. Hey, how was it overseas, man? I know you just coming back. How was it? It was good. Just got back three days ago, three, four days ago. No, 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 no. Actually, no, 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 no. Like two weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks ago. Like three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I so, got back from Cali three days ago. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really I got back from somewhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hey, every time I'm in your room right now, y'all, it's a trip because he, he never he ceased to amaze me. Man, you know he was. I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> this one of the last guys that was really schooled by Buffy Legend. You know, uh, man, give him a little insight on that because we are gonna get into some hot topics. You know, we got some amazing, amazing topics. Me and my wife are gonna go go into. I'm gonna let him put my new again. Just yeah. let him know. Uh, let them know who I am. Yeah, let them know who you are. Uh, my name is Ruben Moreno. I know no, my name is it's probably up there somewhere. Um, but I'm right here from Houston, based in Houston, raised in Houston. <clears throat> I grew up uh, in a part of Houston called Second World, East End. Um, the streets running through my neighborhood, Lockwood, Navigation, Canal. It's real close to downtown. And, between fifth ward and third ward, and um, so that's that's where I'm from. So if you're if you Houstonians, you know exactly where I'm from. You know um, you can kind of understand the, the culture around there, mm-hmm. and it's really diverse. It's a really interesting place to grow up. Houston's a really good place to grow up. So, um, but yeah, I've been playing Zydeco music for 21 years now, and um, I'm uh, 28. I was born right here. Uh, and for a while, I, I was living in, in Louisiana for a few years. And that's where you met Buckweed. Yeah, I met a lot of people down there. I was uh, I was 15 years old, and I moved down there, and uh, I met a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. Leroy Thomas, like, uh, really helped me out. At the, you know, when I when I really needed it, really needed it the most. It's something about like, uh, I'm gonna say. I noticed that you're around a lot of uh, 
Grammy nominees in your circle. Tons of them. Tons, Tons of them. How does it feel to be around so many? It, it feels good and it feels right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, amongst, I'm amongst the people that, that I look up to, that I, I want to, um, you know, we are. Uh, I mean, that's the kind of that's that's the kind of that's the kind of vibe you want to hear. You know, right. success successful people who are honest, hardworking people. You know, who, who really know the the art and the craft. They really appreciate it. There was a role around that you was getting a Grammy at one time. Nah, I ain't got a Grammy yet. Nah. Solid call, man. If you read a few bios, I mentioned that um, I was produced by a Grammy Award winning producer, Andre Peter. He, uh, other than um, his master in accordion, he also produces on a brand new level. Okay. Been nominated, so. so, like, how do you, like, all right, you are, uh, first of all, let's get your nationality out of the way, because it was a lot, like, it was just rumors said that, you know, basically, uh, you play Zodico, but you're not, you're not black, you know what I'm saying? So you don't come from the real roots of Zodico. What do you say about it? I would ask them if they uh, if they think that probably asking before assuming for ten seconds, you know? Right. Like if I have questions or if I have opinions on something. I'm gonna research the topic just a little bit so I can at least know something huh? right you know before I really go out there and mention stuff. Sometimes I, I'll I'll state something that's um controversial politically or something about religion or something right. about race on my Facebook page. And um <clears throat> it's not without researching a little bit first and understanding what I'm what I'm trying to say because sometimes I'll be wrong. In the research, I'll find out. I'll be like, oh, man, I'm happy I didn't um, do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go on Facebook pissed yeah. off for no reason. Yeah. So, but no, I mean, because it was like, I feel like, like, what is your background? Let them know your heritage. My heritage, well, my nationality is the first question you asked. Right. My nationality is Moorish American. Right. Okay. So I'm a Moorish American. identify with the... With, with American nationality, but more so on a Moorish heritage. Right. So, so for them who don't know what it is, let me explain to them. What Moorish, Moorish Americans are, are you know, a group of people that have been around since since ancient 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 Egypt. Right. So and um, they've been involved with all of our massive science um, discoveries and. And um, our studies of the sky, music, yeah. art, fashion, okay. Okay. Uh, the first sea vessels, some of the first maps. So you really like took it to another level, you know what I'm saying? When it came to Zodico, mm -hmm. you know, you um, you brought in a different horizon, you brought a different horizon to it because you got a different style than a lot of people. Whenever you get on, you can tell. You know, like when really Keith Frank get on, he got a certain sound. When Chris Harvey, oh, right. he got a different sound. You got the night. You know that. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah, you know that. Yeah. Distinct sound. You got a distinct sound. You know. Uh, how do you feel? What's the difference in the look? In, in the fit? Like, how did you feel in overseas? Treated overseas? Then over here, of course, in the music area. Um, I'm I'm appreciated everywhere I go, and in Europe, uh, usually the the, the the productions I've done out there have been on a, a way bigger scale than what I'm doing out here. You know, I do big festivals and I do venues around Houston and, and do the East Coast thing and the West Coast thing, and in Europe it's um it's a whole nother level. It's it's borderline theater, like borderline. Like so close. Let me ask you this: Do you do you think uh, you travel more than the average trip of Zydeco artists or farther? Um, if you stay just on I ten between Texas and Louisiana, you would think you would. I would. I would. If I never left, I would think I'm maybe. If I leave a few times, I travel the most. But no, nah, there's there's bands. Out there on the East Coast and the West Coast and in Europe, when I'm when I'm on the road here in the country, 
in um in, in US, I see bands like Curly Taylor on the road. I see um bands like Dickie Do and a lot of carrier family bands. Okay. okay. Um, so uh, but yeah, yeah, that. But, but the Zydeco bands are, I mean, I can name the Zydeco bands that are out there, you know, like Chubby Carey, and, yeah. and, and there's a few, you know, that still that hit the road on the regular. Just hit the road. You know, like Corey Broussard and Leon Chavis and Andre Peter, they hit the road, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But the regular names, there's people that are road runners. Leroy yeah. Thomas used to be a, a, a big road runner. He was always, it's, it's, it's Leroy Thomas and Zydeco like road runners because he would stay gone. He stayed going for months at a time. I do three to four month tours with him when I was 17 okay. years old. You know? okay. Okay. So you done made a lot of moves that a lot of artists, been to a lot of areas that a lot of other Zydeco artists haven't been. Because mm-hmm. okay. I know like- Yeah, but I see the artists that are doing it because when I'm out there, you know, I see I see people from Texas and Louisiana. There's even Zydeco bands from California and like uh, New Jersey and stuff, like East Coast Zydeco band. And mention while he's saying that, if you are a Zydeco band from California, we want you on the Houston Zydeco line. Like, anyway, wherever you from, wherever you Zydeco you band, hit us up. Yeah, if you Southern Soul, you know it. Hey, shout out to my boy Ronnie Bill. Two Sweet Productions. Y'all share this video. Everybody share this video, man. It's going down on the Houston Zydeco Live podcast. My boy Ruben Moreno on here, man. For the first time, Roby, you know I gotta get my ads out the way. Yeah, of course, man. Do what you got to do. Uh, Boo Scootin Riders, you know, it's going down. Shouts out to Boo Scootin Riders. Back in the saddle, back in the saddle, man. They coming through. They finna have an interview pretty soon. Y'all stay tuned. Bless Sisters Riders. Hey, we gonna be, I'm going party. I gotta, I gotta show with them. Matter of fact, I gotta show with everybody I just named, you know. It's a blessing, it's a blessing thing, man. And I thank you. Uh, Country life, country life, a name. I see you. I, Joy, I see you. I see you. Can't be stopped. John, what's up, man? How y'all doing, man? I appreciate you. Stephanie, what's going on? Man, previous John Akers Riders in here. Good evening, Tamika Swift. I ain't want to say y'all feel y'all like feel like I was ignoring y'all. CJ, CJ, what's up? Uh, I'm sorry. Tim Pace, what's the deal, brother? How you doing? Got all sending a wild bunch in here. Yeah. I'll send you a wild bunch. Big shout side, man. Miss Jamita, how you doing? Nonstop, non stop in here. Felicia Haskins, what's going on? Hardest Divas. James Richardson, MacArthur, William Ryder, Shell Jones. I see you, Rico. What's the deal? Yeah, man, I had to give all my shouts out to all my people. Make sure y'all go to Million Plus Ride. You hear me? Million Plus Ride in Dallas, Texas. That's where I'm going to be at. You understand? And I'm tell you like this here. If you trail ride, if you trail ride, and I'm telling you, you know, your Instagram too, you need to get with the Houston Zydeco Live. Get you a subscription. And if you don't know what trail riding is, please look it up. Yeah. Look up with Texas trail ride, please. Look it up, y'all. I'm telling you, this is the place to be. This is trail ride medical right here when it comes to trail riding. And I'm I'm not saying that because it's Houston Zydeco Live. I'm saying it because the culture is so enriched in Houston other than other areas that is crazy. You know, I, I, I agree. I mean, you know, we have Houston do it because it absor- it's absorbed by other people that, ain't, that ain't even really from it. And, and the trail riders that have been doing it for years kind of have a problem with it. Yo. Because, I, I mean, I guess it, I, mean, I guess I can understand why. Because you, a lot of but, I mean, people want to be a fucking child ride. Let them, let them yeah. follow their dreams and their goals. People yeah. want to join riding clubs. And but people want to be in the part of the band. And people yeah. want to. But now, man, not when you bring the drum and the negativity to our culture. Of course, not. Of course. But that's in everything, even people that's been in the culture family. You know, but you know, we couldn't structure it, though, bro. <laughs> yeah, but how do you solve negative? Yeah, but look, for the most part, like, I know for me, it's not just a way of life, it's a coach, you know what I'm saying, I love it. Mm-hmm. But for somebody else, for, that's how it is for me and you, but for somebody they, they, else. They don't see you the same way, they, they take it for granted. Yeah, they, they looking at the women, they looking at, you know, the fun, but they not. So that's culture appropriation. Yeah, like, that's, come that's, on, man, like, you can't do that. Ain't and then you, you don't, you, like, man, we... My, I ain't gonna lie, and it's real, man. My grandpa always told me a cowboy is me. You understand? He gonna hold himself with, with some clay. That's why he stands out from the rich. 
You feel me? So when you get people from other, other not I, I'm gonna put like this other areas like a club scene, and they come to the trail ride, they gonna act like they at a club. They gonna act like cause that's all that's all they been used to. They don't know we we don't just do this. They think we just gather. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think it's a money thing. But nah, man. Yeah, this is like it's some shit that just started. Yeah, they nah, they just nah, found out about yeah, nah, man. This this serious. Like I live this. I be serious about this. You know, for y'all, everybody who don't know really what trail riding is about, it's really about bringing families together. You know what I'm saying? And having a good time and making it back home safe. You know. Families coming together, me and United talking about how they can help each other out. You know, it's unity. That's where it comes from. I got somebody saying something to you, um, and I'm not saying her name. I can't even really. Hey, hey, Costa Rico. Costa Rico. Oh, how you doing? Your Costa Rico. Herrera. Present with the best music by Ruben Moreno. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Costa Rica. Hey, hold up, Costa Rica. I see you. I see you. We got Costa Rica in here. Two single out on Bash Entertainment. Two hot new video. All right, yeah, you want to give me a new video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we can't get. We'll let y'all play. We'll play the song for you. (laughs) Texas Pride in the building. Texas Pride in the building, man. Shout out to Nick. Nick. Natalie Young, what's going on? Yeah, we're gonna pull him up. You know, I had to play my son's song. Well, look, Cowboy I'm, Nick. How long Cowboy Nick out there was good, Cowboy Nick. Let me uh before we go on, Nick Nick. We got time, Stephanie, before we play a song. Look, Stephanie, ready to play your song. <laughs> she, let me let me get my son's song in. You hear me? I gotta this uh, like, yeah, it, it, I gotta let him meet some kind of way, Stephanie. Look, Stephanie, you know Stephanie gonna call me after this. Love brother. What's your, what's what's going on? <laughs> yeah, man. But uh, man, Ruben, I want to ask you something. Man. Out of all the artists out there right now, I don't know all the artists, but I know I'm talking about the mainframe. You know what I mean? It's like the mainframe, a lot of co-artists out there that's like really yeah. pushing the game. Mm-hmm. You know the headlines. You know because you up there, you you up your headlines. Headlines. There's a lot of cats that finally get it right. What's the new head name recognition? Yeah, yeah well, but I, I want to know some, some new heads, new guys out there that you think gonna make some noise. Cause they trying to get where you going. Mm-hmm. So what's the new guys you want to put on when you see Zayda come give them a shout out? You know, I mean the cats that I that I that you know, I'm minded with. I'll tell you the cats that I'm minded with. You know, cats like like the cat I mentioned earlier. You know, uh, Corey Bruce. Hart, mm-hmm. you know, he's probably a year or two older than me, but he's been grinding. Man, he's been grinding since a child. And I done seen that dude, I don't know how many states he done touched, but he done touched a lot of states and other countries, I think, too. Yeah. So, but it's Corey. Corey it's Rusty. Rusty Matois. Rusty, I know you. I'm from Orange. Okay, yeah. 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 I'm from Orange, too. Rusty, man. I've been watching Rusty grind, too, bro. We got to, uh, to, uh, so we friends together. Yeah. Yeah. Rusty, Gerard Delafonte out there. Gerard Delafonte. Shout out Gerard Delafonte. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Well, you're bringing a lot of people back from, like, from that. That's that, that east, southeast Louisiana. But they young cats and they, yeah. they, 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 they gigging. They gigging and they, they this room for everybody. No. Man, they need to come out. They need to come out to Houston. And, and Let me ask you, 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 you think, um, it's a crazy question. You think uh, a lot of people, not, a lot of artists not trying to make a way for the younger generation. They're trying to keep it on watch for themselves when it comes to the game. Yeah, you know? I've seen that because I've been... I've I mean, been, when I say this, I'm talking about all, all the headliners out there. Right yeah, now, the big guys. Uh, the big guys, uh, you know, like the key friends. I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say no. You don't have to, but I'm saying man. Yeah, yeah, this is my show. I can say it like, yeah, like, keep yeah. Like, you know, uh, I'm naming big names, like, you know, Lil Nate, Z- uh, Nuni Zodico. But Nuni, I ain't gonna lie, I can speak for Nuni, like, when we do a lot, bro, he, he'll look out for the younger generation, he'll put them on, like, for really knowledge, and you know, he'll he a humble dude. I don't just say that because Nooney, I mess with Nooney, but I've seen him, you know, I know what I can say about him, so I can say Nooney, he's going to 
he gonna look out. But you know, do you feel like a lot of artists just hold the game on lock? Like they not trying I feel, to do I feel a lot of um, don't want to share any uh, any of that any of that just whatever they've experienced. It's like they just wanted to be there. I've been I've been discouraged and been um, kind of this by a few cats before. You know what I mean? And some of it was out of state. So when some of these cats would do, do a show out of state, and I, I was out there in the same place playing the same event. Shit, you not making the same money that was me. You know what I mean? Because I, 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 I had transparency. And but I was treated like I was less than you know what I mean. Oh, you know, I get treated like that all the time. Wanted to make it apparent, you know. It was I was like this dude going out of his way just to let you know he didn't. Yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was unusual. The older cats, they, 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 they mess with you, you mm -hmm. know. And if he was soft, you know, you'd probably go to the corner and cry. But if he was hard, you know what I mean. They saw that and you, and you, you they, they check your heart and they, they, they respect you. Like you know, talking with Stephanie, Stephanie, and talking about how a lot of these guys had like what we, you know, these legends behind them, giving them, teaching them the game, you know. So it's pretty much. I feel like, I feel like my mom's been like, man, if somebody gave you game to help you with that, you can do what you were as you can keep the good. Mm -hmm. Like I said on my motivational speeches all the time. Hey man, you got to pass the gift on. But if you know a lot of these kids and how they came where they came. Most of them, it was it was it was a family. It's, it's, it's a yeah, it was just it was yeah, it was yeah. Blood, yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. So they didn't have help from some of these people. They they they, they feel they are they are moving in such a way. You know, I'm gonna put it like this: me, Chris Armand, I love this music. Like, I ain't gonna lie, Chris is one of my favorites. Like, that's, that's like, yeah, that's one of my favorites. Like, my little boy, I love this. Song. I grew up, grew up, grew up, grew up, grew up. Between, between 2000 and, <laughs> between 2005 and 2012. Like, it was Chris on Blake. Yeah, 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 yeah. All these old, these older 12s. Like, so I, remember, I remember the time it was Chris, J. Paul, and the night was really just coming, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Houston, so like, in the yeah. 90s, when yeah. I was a little boy, yeah. I had called uh, cassette tapes, man. I used to jam and shit all day. Yeah. All right, so they, well, I, I can only, like, those guys, do. those guys put and on That's another cat. Cat, uh, uh, Paul has always been real nice, real kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jay Paul, real cool dude, man. Uh, yeah, overall, man. It ain't, it has been a few, a few moments, but. Man, I've met I've met most of these most of these artists, uh, artists and it's been good experiences meeting them. When I first met um, Paul, Nate, Keith Frank, I ain't met Chris yet, but when I met these other cats, man, it was love. I, I, I was a washboard player. I was a lot younger. I'm gonna tell you the one show me love, like J. Paul. Man, he took the time to rap with me after the show. Uh, I can also say Noon is out of code, of course. You know, Man, I've, been watch, I've been watching Noon since I was seven years old, <laughs> eight years old. Yeah. Eight years old. Man, Noon it though, man, like I gotta say, man, that dude got first dude to come on the Houston's out of code live show, man. And um, I can always call him for advice. You know, that's a that's that you I, I can admire the humble and He like you, you don't mind. I can hit you up sometimes. I get on his nerves, y'all. I might call him and he might like, be like, damn, he's the body code. What's going on, man? <laughs> man. Hey, what's up, man? I'm going to go into your new song, man. Yeah, it just dropped. What, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Three weeks ago. Well, since, since we've been together, there's the latest drop. It's actually. Uh, shout out to all the trail ride clubs that were involved. That, that we we caught a glimpse mm -hmm. of your truck, of your of your horse, of the view, of whatever it is that you see that you can recognize. Tag me, you know. Come check out the video, share share the video, and tag your uh, tag your group and let everybody know what's up. Man. This this song right here this this is a damn good damn good uh, production video. Hey. <laughs> okay. 
I need y'all to check him out, man. If you need some. Yeah, it's on everywhere. It's on iTunes, Amazon, every music app, every music digital store, everywhere online. Got you to the book, Spotify. Shout out to Sleep for Dust. Yeah. You know, we are Yeah. Yeah. I gotta check it out on YouTube, bro. Go look at that video. My boy on the first part, it's been on the first part. I came to lock the song on the first part. That's Baby Bash right now. Live at the trail right now. Okay. Show some love at night. Baby Bash. Baby Bash. Baby Bash. We all we got. DJ Doom, Johnson, Nick Nabonye, Sidney Penny, John Wick. All these cats on the video. Texas, all Texas, all they go into. All Texas, all they go into. All on. Um, now I gotta go check that look that video out. Yeah, man, because you might be you was there at the we all we got trail ride uh last year. Man. You might be on that video. Yeah, man. It's uh Ruben Moreno since we've been to go. Check it out on YouTube. Go buy anywhere, everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah, you can download it, stream it, buy it, stream it, buy it. It's everywhere. Yeah, man. Go support it, man. Buy it, man. Buy it, man. Buy the CD, man. Hey, this song's a hot song, man. Y'all want to see y'all trail ride group. Y'all was out there. You know y'all always on camera. Thank y'all so much. Thanks for the compliments. Thanks for the join. It's the latest single. Y'all go check it out. Y'all might be on that thing. I really got to check it out. Some few people on that. It's, it's a whole lot of people. A lot going on. But now, now I'm in the city. I let the trail ride. Now I'm in the city. I'm in my, 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 my neighborhood. Okay, yeah, right back, back to your neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. straight back, right back home. Who you on know with? Real deal? You on real deal wagon? Uh, I don't know who's wagon. Uh, Cowboy Nick knows who wagon that was. He knows the person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I know who wagon that is. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's chair ride. You know, you know, you know, you know who <laughs> yeah. all that, man. That's that support, man. Yeah. Say, man, my boy cut up on here. He got a couple of the songs I was jamming. You know, uh, and they real nice. They real nice too. No, that ain't it. <laughs> He's like, no, that ain't it. Yeah, like, a whole lot of love. It. I dropped it last last December, last last year. A whole lot like, of six love. Six months ago. <laughs> yeah, man. Ago. Yeah, that that hit is creeping up. Uh, like fifty five. Like, 550,000 views, something like that, 350,000, 400,000. It's, 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 it's creeping up there, it's nice. What y'all think about this man, Queen, Stephanie Barnes, Marvin English, Valerie King, Alex Harris, McDonald's. Exclusive money, I want to shout out exclusive money, y'all share this. Tell anybody from Exclusive Money, I say I appreciate it, man. Marcus, I thank you, appreciate the love, Exclusive Money. No singing. I keep you on the floor. I make you want some more. Take my hand. I wanna be your loving man. Give me your What's going on, man? Singing like a Texas band. Alex has me down. Alex, singing like a Texas angel. What's going on, Alex? Alex! 
we talk about the video that ain't out yet. Let's go. We ain't talking about the last two hours, the first two hours. We just pick a time. We need a game. We need a game. We need a game. We need a game. So we need a game. 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 Tell them a fuck, like, give them some. I went YouTube. Huh? I went YouTube. <laughs> I, yeah, I went YouTube. So I did this production called Voodoo, right? Huh. And, uh, wow. <laughs> it, was, it was a hell of an experience. It was, uh, it was a chance to, to, to expose so much of the culture here that we all familiar with. Right. You know? Okay, okay, okay. And uh, to expose it to Berlin. And and not just a concert. Not just like a band touring a bunch of venues. No, we had one main venue with multiple settings, multiple sets throughout the building. Okay. And there's a main set in the middle with a stage that was like a house in three parts. <clears throat> that was the main stage. That was just the stage. Not even mentioning the kitchen and the parlor and the, the hotel room and the, and the card table and the shrine room. and the, like I, You know what I mean? There's so many rooms and things. So many things going on. So many situations. Right. It's called, it's called immersive theater. And we immerse the audience into our performance. All right. All right. Yeah, all right. It's crazy. And it was great. It was, it was a beautiful. So like they interacted with, like they interacted with you. Through yeah, like me personally, that. me personally, not so much. Yeah. I was on a pedestal half of the time playing accordion. Yeah, I playing traditional Zydeco music. Okay. So okay. there's a um, there's what Zydeco song, music. What song did y'all play over there? What songs? Like the oh yeah, the traditional style of Zydeco. Well, the traditional stuff I was doing. Okay, well, there's like this Zydeco right now that you hear that everybody loves right now. Like you name your top top forty Zydeco. Today, you know, yeah, that's so what, that's modern, that's progressive. Let me ask you yeah. this: What's the, what, what? What do you think the top, the top, the top? Uh, Ooh, you want me to? No, I'm not even current. I'm not. I'm, I'm mean, not current I'm at just, all. I'm just asking. I, you I like, mess with. I mess with Leon. I like Nate. I like Chris. I like Paul's stuff. My favorite stuff from Paul's is older stuff, though. But that's because yeah. I'm from Houston, and I feel like, like that's just. You know what I mean? People who are from here have this relationship with the old, with music. You know what I mean? Right. And that was my favorite. I grew up elementary school, middle school. You know what I mean? On his older stuff. So that stuff is like, man, that's, that's some classic. Man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Yeah. Like, Uno and shit, like, when he, like he, he's always doing some really cool stuff. You know? Shout out to Papa Jones. Shout out to Papa Jones. The Southern Soul, man. I'm going on here. No, he's yeah. out of Cabo. Yeah. Shout out to Papa Jones. Shout out What's the deal, bro? New name, the floor. Shout out to Tom William Sam. Dead South and shout out to you. You know, Newly let me play his accordion. <clears throat> I was like 12, 13. No, I was like 13. I was 13. I was 12. I was 13 years old. I was 12. Leroy Thomas let me play some parties at a chop of vibe. This venue, Zydeco venue, in like 1999. So sure. <laughs> He's like, 99. Boy, you went back. Uh, uh, yeah, man. You went back when you said 99. T Cook was there. Anybody know anything about Washburn players? And yeah. T Cook. He was playing washboard. Give me, the, give me the, the top washboard players right now. Man, I don't know, man. I'm going to put John John out there, man. John John Cole you know has always been Cole. I'm going to put John John Jody LaMille, wherever you at, Jody, you still my dog. You still cold as hell. Jody uh, took a break for a while. Yeah. But um, I, he, uh, I saw him play with somebody. I've been going for a while, so I don't know what's going on in Houston. I've been in Berlin for two and a half months, and then before that, I was going for a few months. I stay on the road. But, um, man, top watchable players, I don't know. 
man, because this cat that, that play other instruments, like Mitch, he played drums for Keon. Cold on the watch, what I mean. He's clean, 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 straight on the drums, but I'm, I'm, what you think about Yami? Yami Freeman. 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 You're gonna start mentioning names. You're gonna be like, you don't know my damn name. <laughs> he said, I'll put him on the spot, child. Man, I'm out of my bro. I ain't mean it. I don't remember Yami's face. This is the man. I'm about to show you that he got that. Uh, yeah, you're gonna show him that. I'm gonna be like, I know who that is. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, he probably, you know, oh, I know. It's like, call me, say, damn, man. Oh. All right, let me, hey, say, so check this out. What's different in um, the cultures in Berlin and Texas? I mean, in Europe. Man, Berlin is like a mixture of San Francisco and New York, like 50 years from today. <laughs> like in the future. They are, they, they're, they're open minded and they're, they're more. They're, I don't even, like, if I would explain it, there's so much to fr- freaking explain. They are. Um, they're just they're on a whole other level mentally. They're real open, like really honest, really blunt. You know, um, not so many. I mean, they're different. So I, every time I travel, I go to different places, and I kind of like I don't uh, take anything personal if it's something that I don't understand. Because I'm like, maybe that's just how they do things. I mean, I'm not gonna trip right now. Like, <laughs> exactly. I'm trip right now. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. In in Berlin, art is is another thing, and music is another thing, and fashion is a, is a whole other thing. And the way people, like for example, over more than a quarter of all the people I've seen in that city, and I and I saw a lot of the city, and I don't know everybody in Berlin, right? But everybody ride a bike. Everybody has a bicycle. So they pollution right now, huh? Everybody, hey, how you doing? Glad, Mayor, how you doing? They Talk got bikes piled up on top of each other at the corner, like 12, 13, 15, 20 at the corner, like right? just a whole bunch of bikes. And um, and I, I was riding a bike. They got me riding bikes. <laughs> I rode a bike from uh, from one side of Berlin all the way to another side. How long it took you, man? Tell me. Yeah, like 45 minutes from, from West Berlin to Kreuzberg. And uh, yeah, I went out there and um, Shoot, it, it, it didn't cost me nothing. It just took 45 minutes of my time because that Uber cost out there. Yeah, really? Yeah, man, that's right. Everywhere you go, costs $18. <laughs> I'd have been trying to chuck that bike in. Uh, <laughs> out that Uber, I'm going to just keep it real. I ain't going to even play no man, man, How many of y'all going to ride a bike 45 minutes across town? Turn you around, as Gladys, what you going to do? You going to ride a bike showing up and showing out in here? Say you gonna ride a bike. You gonna I see you a bad man. I didn't think I was gonna do that. I waited two weeks and then I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? Two whole weeks. And then I was like, I'm gonna try my <laughs> He try. contemplated two weeks. I'm gonna try. I, I, the first week I was like, man, I ain't even, I'm not gonna ride a bike around this town. I was like, I'm gonna Uber. And I Ubered a few places and I taxied a few so taxi drivers. Yo, man, you sit in the car and they charge you for a fifty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. Let me come to South and South. How do you think it's integrating with the trail line? A lot of people But I think in certain parts from Texas, certain parts of Louisiana, and certain parts of the South, it was always kind of integrated. Right. And I know places where it was never integrated. It was just like blues and stuff and so. On. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't been in the trail ride culture long. I, I didn't grow up in it, so I can't speak for what went on in 20 years ago. Uh, you know, but um, I see it integrating, and I, and I see even, even the artists themselves are integrating in their music, and it's it's, um, it's something very new. And you got like talk, but I'm saying you got cats that do something more like Southern Soul, but they call themselves a fine or a Zydeco or something like that. Like, you know, okay, it's, it's, it's interesting. I don't think, I, I don't know what's going on. You don't think you ought to mix it. Ain't nothing wrong with mixing, ain't nothing wrong with mixing, but 
if I'm a if I'm a plumber, you need an electrician, and I come to your house working on the electricity, you're not gonna be happy. You just say, but my but my name says electrician, but I'm just a plumber, but you need an electrician. So it's like not it, 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 it's not it's, it's confusing because. I don't want to even touch on the top too much because I, I, it might be a sensitive top. I mean, shoot. Yeah, it might be a sensitive top. Pop the pimple. I mean, like, I'm talking about it. Like, like, I guess like, some like, of these people don't know the difference between the genres. And it's like, you hear a whole accordion. There's a whole washboard and accordion. That's not, that's, that's called radical. And then it's called. So the soul. So the soul. Or whatever, or R&B or whatever this particular person is doing. You know? Right. But, um. Well, yeah, because I've seen I've seen a few things out there, and I was like, no, nah, that's not. This person was like, yeah, this is Zydeco. I was like, no, that's not. That's not Zydeco. I was like, I know exactly what that is. I'm familiar yeah. with it, and it's cool. It was a good song. I was like, that's not Zydeco. Yeah, and I then, agree with you on that. Like that's something I told you. I don't know who started that. I don't know why people did it. Well, like because they talk of, you know, talk of this Zydeco. Sure, he's on song. Yeah, but Tucker's not gonna tell him that he's an artist. You know that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's swing out. So, yeah, so, 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 but I mean, they they consider his their song. The song was like exotic code. Yeah, because it's exotic code. It's exotic code song. Yeah, exotic code. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. He's been on a few of it. Yeah, but he, he he's played with Zydeco once before. I think. Like, mm -hmm. You know, he's, he he played in the background. Well, he does with artists and on the dance and stuff like that. Yeah. But he doesn't sell himself. He doesn't market. Yeah, he do himself for some soul yeah. He yeah. do some the soul. But he do. But that's one shit. that I would be confused about. That's one you know. Cupid, another guy. You know, you got to bring him in. Cupid. Like Cupid, he uh. When he came out with boots, doing in your boots, that was his man shit. That's something you know, uh, and like a lot of people, and that was after Cupid show. Yeah, that was after Cupid show. So think about it, like, and he do he, he do Southern Soul. That was a Zodiac code. That's a Zodiac code. He was like, yeah, doing yeah. your boots. So, so I mean, I kind of like the mixture of Zodiac code with Southern Soul. And I like it when it's done yeah. like that. I like it. But I, I like, I, I, but I'm talking about what you like market dressing, yourself as, you know, dressing or what you're saying you do. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna tell nobody I'm playing radio because I don't play radio at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do. You think a lot of artists are coming up with their own, their own music now, their own beats? Like, <clears> or do you think it's cool for them to go off another, another, another beat that's already done? Like, yo, do you think the, know, the music? I think everybody can do whatever they feel is, is makes them happy. Yeah. So like, whatever they want to do. Do you think the music more original now? No. That's what I was asking. Basically, the time. Do you think the music original? That wasn't the same question. Though. <laughs> yeah. I just broke it down. I because I encourage answer. people to do what they do, and if they want to sound like this person, do what you do. You know, yeah. I'm focusing on what I gotta get. Done. You know, and other people, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything to intrude or to step on their toes. I think you know if, if you're gonna do something, you gotta do it. When I say the music, music, when I say the music, like you know, when those temptations were making, they was making, like they made music. You feel me? They started from just a uh, violin playing and then drums. Mm -hmm. But now I see a lot of artists. They go off of uh, other people, other people's music. Like they generate, they make a new song. But it comes from the of somebody else who uses it. Well, that, that, that's, that's, that's debatable and it's confusing because I know a lot of artists that do that and they put that on their albums and they be like this one song that everybody knows and everybody every fucking album. Right? Yeah. But Zydeco music, as long as I've been playing Zydeco music, I started playing when I was seven years old. And I've seen because I've, I've received songs that have been passed down. Like I learned songs from Roy Carey, and I learned songs from Wilfred Chavis, and I and I learned songs from P.S. Stewart and Leon Sand and Leo Thomas and, and uh, Preston Frank and Classy Blue Senior. And these are names and legends in body group. And they're passed down the songs that they wrote or their father wrote. Or somebody that they met, or somebody in their family, a lot of people for years. 
old music, you know? Mm-hmm. And sometimes you want to take that song, you want to change the words, or you want to flip the beat, or you want to do something like that. And it's okay. Sometimes it's a, it's, it's, it, it complements it, or it's a, it's a, you know, take it as a, as, you know, as a, as a compliment. But, but um, some of it, I guess, some people don't like. It. I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like me and people ought to be original at the same time. Man, I like I love Zodico and Southern Soul. Man, shouts out two sweet productions to two sweet productions out of Vicksburg, Mississippi. Man, they brought me straight Mississippi. Straight out, man. Southern Soul. We were asking my lineage. I have a uh, my, my my grandmother and my, my mother's grandmother, my great grandmother. She comes from Alabama, right on the other side of Mississippi. Okay. Yeah, she's an Alabama native. She belonged to the Alabama tribe. So she's an autonomous. She's an Aboriginal to the land of Alabama. Okay, so this to answer some of those questions of the mystery, mysterious nationality, genealogy of Ruben Scott Smith say, what's up, man? What's good, y'all? Thanks for tuning in. Bliss Sister on YouTube, on 160 Raw, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Instagram down here. We so still live. We talking about Berlin. We talking about the song. We finna get to your album. Your, 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 your album and, and the ones coming. Man, I got. So, so. I'm gonna break the news here. I'm just gonna break it because I don't care. I'm just gonna break it because this is a situation. I got four things live right here, so I'm gonna let you say it now. Go ahead. I wish I had another device so I can go live on my Facebook. And um, but I am dropping a new single in the next few months, and it's gonna be a different genre. It's gonna be my debut single in a different genre. I'm not gonna say nothing. It's probably pretty obvious because everybody gonna guess. It's gonna be this. <laughs> of course, he's gonna say this. Okay. But <laughs> like I so you can't just tell us. Uh, tell I got. I got. You got to wait till like till I till I let um some like like little pe- peaks of the video and stuff out. Um, probably some audio. Yeah, no, no, you don't get it all on here. But um, I got a new. It's a new video too. So see, I just let you know too. So it's a video. It's a single. It's dropping. Not right now. Um, probably at the end of June. Probably. I need to have that. I need to have that on the show. Y'all get ready for that. I'm yeah, so we got that coming, and then we have a Zydeco album and another album coming out. And and right now I'm I'm gonna limit the details on that other album. It's a, it's, 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 it's interesting. It's new. I'm gonna tell you, it's brand new. That's what I'm gonna say. It's really, really new. And I got this other album. So I got two situations going on. Okay, two situations going on. Mm-hmm. You got one more. Osmond and Mark Kevin. Sequels, you hear me? He got one of the Osmond and Mark Kevin sequels going on. Yeah, so I'm giving y'all like some of the info here. Yeah, yeah, exclusive on the, on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. The, the latest one or the, or the one that ain't dropped out? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I tried to sneak it, child. I again. I try to sneak it. It's called if you if you would have met. Okay. If you would have met. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is that about a special lady? Uh, probably. It is about a special. Lady. I know what I'm saying. She is special in your life. You, you know, know I'm gonna be dancing. We on the podcast. So I gotta be this. I'm just gonna give y'all some even more details because this is it's probably special that I do on the podcast. It's it's personal. It's there's a storyline. But the pain, the storyline isn't from my personal experience, but it's it's so related to this, what I what I the the emotions I was going through through my through me when I was writing it, when I was singing it, I was singing it and writing it at the same time. I was in the studio with that. Um, I got a me, we, we got a melody. Somebody threw the hook. I threw the hook. Whoever threw the hook, I don't know, but we was all vibing. It was Bruce Bang and. Uh, baby bash and myself and we put it together we put the we put the foundation together most of the words together and they came from a, from from experience it came from a place you know singing these words singing these songs and, and it's a it's a really oh you put your heart in yeah 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 and it's, a, it's another genre it's something really new for all these years and it's and the whole audience and it's, and um, you gonna you gonna you gonna go make sure you you send me a CD. Oh, you need mine signed too, bro. 
for real. You know, they don't print CDs often. Well, so what? Well, let me be different. It's, I'm gonna it's, 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 you know what? Tape. Look, when you when, when, when like you know one day when you win a Grammy, I, I put it on a CD. I put it on a flash drive. Or something. No man, because you know when you win a Grammy one day, I'm gonna be like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell them they need to they need to print out a few of those, and then I get them exclusive from Trail Ride CD too, so y'all can buy them up. Five dollar singles. I'll get outside them. You get bash to sign a few. You already in the circle, you hear me? So you know, sometimes a lot of things not meant to know. You know, whenever you already in the circle, true. Birds of a feather flock together. Man. Yeah, so I got that going on in the music world right now. I'm, I'm working on projects really hard. I'm staying busy. I'm trying to uh, trying to give y'all something. I'm trying to give y'all something. Something different. So something more than just the the ordinary. She said, you know? "I'm just it." Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, and, and um, Europe, Europe has received me, they love me, and and, I, and, and the feeling is, is mutual, I have so much fun there, the experience is there, a great year, I'm going back in uh, October, November, I'll be back next year for uh, March, April, May, June, July, uh, August, September, in and out, for seven months, in and out, um, for Hoodoo, and uh, for some other productions that are going on, some really great things, man. Uh, Houston, and you catch me at Jack's next Friday. Catch me this Saturday at a Taste of Louisiana Festival right here, Sugarland, right here, at the 59 South. Taste of Louisiana Festival this Saturday, and uh, featuring featuring some of the band out there in Hoodoo too. So y'all can get a little taste of what we were doing. Y'all come out if y'all interested. In, 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 and, uh, and what we were doing out there in Europe, because we're, we're, bring, we're trying to bring a little bit of that. Already, already. And if y'all from overseas, make sure y'all tune in to the Houston Sonic Code Live Park. Please do. Where me, Southern Soul. You understand? Hey, and it's for the trail riders. Man, I make them, I make my hours for real. Now you want to grab something else? You got something else you want to know about before we get up out of here? Man, I got, I'll be here, to, I'll be back in a few weeks. I'm gonna let you know uh, some of the details on the trail rides that I'm playing that, that, that I'll be doing this year because I'm locking them all in pretty soon. And if y'all need to call me, make sure y'all call me because I'm locking them in. Uh, just hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and, and let me know uh, what's good. I'm available. You get me while I'm in town because uh, because I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to make a full world tour probably next year. So let's get it going. Family circle. That's oh cool. yeah, man. That's sandals, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Scott Smith say so he is one of a kind. He's oh, good, good music. Scott. Scott. J. Miles, what's up? Scott, we gonna be Selena, working so much. What's man. up, King Steve? Mr. Twenty Four Seven. Mr. Twenty Four Seven, man. Uh, That's Ghetto Boys right there, man. That's Ghetto Boys crew. Man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in to the Houston Sonic Live. Make sure everybody share this video, man. You can catch us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Email me at Houston Zodic Live Podcast at gmail.com. We're going on Periscope soon. Hey, get your subscription so we can promote your trail riding event. Also, sponsorship package, and we have ad packages. Pa ad packages that range from forty dollars a week all the way up to eighty dollars a week, and then it's a two-week minimum package. Can't beat it. Cheaper than the radio, cheaper than TV by far, and you tune in to just the people you want to show that your events, trail rides, in Zodico, Sun and Soul. Man, look. Jump on the website, rubermusic.com. Like that, they already tagged me on the Moreno page. Yeah, check out the page, like the page, get on my Instagram at Zadiko Soul One. This guy smells like you. He's the same area. Yeah, man. Come mess with me when y'all in Houston. Yo, yeah, y'all mess with us, man. Anything you want to say, Kobe? Y'all, you want to take us out here? Man, just just keep supporting, man. Keep supporting the music. Keep supporting the culture. Keep coming out. We need you at these dances, at these shows. You know, I know you can get on watch us on live, but come out and uh, show us uh, show us that support. All right, we appreciate it. Hey, y'all better book my boy. I know they gonna book because you, you cut up everywhere you go. Man, and that's what it is. You hit it hard every every show, every single show. Good job. You're not a uh, we're not half stepping at all. Y'all come to the show, come catch the show. We uh had some 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 really good uh good additions to the show. 
Really good additions to the show. Y'all gotta enjoy it. So, so catch, come catch it while we in town. And if you're in California or New York this year, I'll come back in a few weeks and tell him about the, uh, the tour date mm -hmm. and, and all that. We're gonna talk about the calendar, probably talk about how it is um, being a, 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 a band leader and, and, and who taught me some of the things that I that I learned how to how to do on the road and here when it comes to booking and marketing. And all Man, I got to put you on the day because I want to get you back in. There. I got to get you back in. There. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll I do got it. some dope. Don't burn out the German, Germany on me again before you know say No, man, that's October. I, I got it. Look, see, you gone in October. Yeah, see how you trying to sneak that in. But I'll be in Long Beach at the end of July for the Long Beach Summerfest yeah. with, with, uh, with Snoop Dogg and uh, okay. Dipsy Hustle was supposed to be on there. Yeah, yeah. Baby Bash going to be on there. I'm going to be in the building trying to see if I can jump on stage and do one. Yeah, too, yeah. Huh? yeah turn up on <laughs> Texas style, man. Hey, can you, can, you, can you get some of the more exotic co-artists that you name you know, on the show and come in live? Oh, yeah, man. I yeah, think man. we can work it out. Yeah. Maybe maybe all of us come out here and show you some love. Man, man. it's like, man, you know, that'll turn up the exotic co Houston exotic co live. Yeah, man. And, you know, I'm flooded with Southern Soul artists. Hey. And the trail ride Norris, they stay, I mean trail ride Norris, the trail ride will stay flooded through here, and we're going to keep doing what it do. You know, I got to get out of here, y'all. Uh, much love and respect to, to you both and everyone in here. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, man, say, man, this is my boy right here. Check it out. I, I stand behind him. I ain't going to even trip. You know, he always keep it 100 with me. He had every event. You cut up last season. I seen you. You cut up at those when we was on the north side. Like he laughed. Man, I gotta be look. See, uh, hey, I'm gonna, hey, y'all get it. Y'all get with us, man. Stay tuned. <laughs> hey, this new city. I'm gonna get it out of them, y'all. You know, you gonna hang on tell me. I'm gonna hang on tell me now. We out of here. Peace. Instagram, y'all getting the exclusive. Behind the, the scenes. scenes, we finna get blown like a mother. <laughs> 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 this dude tripped out, y'all. Oh, uh, shit. This is gonna tell me. They said I only got a minute. I thought I could go as long as I want. I don't know, man. That's bullshit. Look, check it out. I don't Same care how everybody doing. Look, it's it's wait, but everybody, what's good, y'all? Oh! You erased my video. Good, nigga. You erased my video. Man, look, you got Facebook and you can YouTube, man. Please, <laughs> sit there. You erased my whole video, dude. Well, I'm just saying, click it. Ain't no getting that time back, bro. Well, you just erased all my footage on Instagram about this whole interview. <laughs> we still going live. <laughs> oh, man. Man, that on there, that's the same so, live. On this live, this is the best. Behind this, this, this thing you know, I got to download this now. I got to download it to my computer and try to put it on Facebook some kind of way. Because you, 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 yeah, you were live on Facebook, though, right? But I want my I want it on my Instagram. You just be like, it's a way you can link it. I don't know if you can link it live. So look, my Instagram said I got 30 seconds. 30 seconds to be on here. So I want y'all to know that uh, so try not to come out and catch a show. If y'all gonna be in Houston, I'm gonna be at Texas, Louisiana Festival. You know, I need to come out. I'm, I'm trying to wave back at everybody. Oh shit. What's going on? <clears throat> 13 seconds. Uh, go go check out the videos on YouTube. Yeah, that's messed up, y'all. Full connection, they said. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for it to live. This nigga, he's waiting. I'm off live. Yeah, I'm off live, man. Dude. You was walking out. You was walking out. Look, dude. You was walking out of the live like this. You looked at the camera. I know that's why I'm tripping, dude. That's why I feel like this. I know what you want. You got to look at it from the top. You got to get in there again. 
<laughs> that nigga, he'll still he do it just like he's yeah, he can't come no more. But not for no fucking energy, you gotta go, you gotta go to the house, chill. You can't go outside and do it. Like you better keep ready to go now. Because right. he gotta be home. <coughs> I don't hate you. Alright, come on out. Right. I'll probably be gone by the time you gotta come feed my dogs. Alright. Craig, you know how to Oh, yeah, I need to read these up. Look. I got another credit. Yeah, I want Corey to come out here and I want Russie to come. Yo, this is a long one. I got these up and I got these up. Then this young dude named Randy Jackson. Ronald Jackson need to come out. You don't want to use these? You gonna bring my shit back? You know what I'm saying is you gonna use them? No, I'm basically gonna use them now. You got to see how they are. I'm it on the I'm gonna get all of them. We'll see. Look, I'm gonna tell you what we gotta do. We gotta flood this bitch. See, them people you was lying, I didn't even know. Yeah, they were on the bus. Yeah. Come on, here to go. Look, look. I ain't gotta go school, so you got to do it in the evening. Mm -hmm. Y'all ate already? Mm-hmm. I ain't eating already. I'm going to eat I know somebody who set him up. Yeah. He was watching live. Somebody here want to do business with you. 
Um, he went, he's interested in starting a podcast, and I told him that you'd be able to to, uh, to help him get it started. You were watching live. You were watching live on Instagram, huh? I was at a podcast interview. He's, he's live on YouTube and Facebook, but he's running two different monitors, and then he's running a cell phone that's streaming live on Instagram. But I know there's a way that we can we can consolidate those, and we can have them have we can help him with a, with a uh, radio station streaming live, and he can, he can make his playlist and shit. And you can run your digital ads, and they can help you too. Like all that voice, digital, all that shit. We can do voice only, so these people can give you like you get the, the visual and the audio. You know what I mean? So they gonna pay you money for those ads. Yeah. So um. Okay. Oh, uh, so I'm gonna get y'all hooked up on Facebook, and I'm gonna send you his number. All right. All right. Cool. It ain't much because this dude, he all about he be a black conscious ass man. He a more he all about doing business with his people. Hey man, you guys have is that a roach? No, it's not fine. Yeah, so he not gonna he not gonna be just hanging on live bro. I don't know. Uh, they, they, they all, yeah, they all been trying to like sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> they all been trying to sponsor me. Is it on or no? Oh, oh yeah. 